can 50 pounds in Sports Direct give you the ability to start the game of golf? Today's challenge is can I start the game of golf with nothing but 50 pounds cash and the only place I think I could do this challenge would be at Sports Direct as you can buy individual clubs and the rules of the challenge is this I can't spend more than 50 pounds cash that's it. and also I've got to take off these four boxes which I deem the ability to play the game of golf putting chipping iron play and then of course the wood so with Sports Direct only being 15 minutes away from Sanford Springs, I'm gonna make my way there now. We're obviously gonna find what's in and what's not in the budget for this challenge and then make our way back to the golf course and tick off all four requirements. If you like this video or have a potential another suggestion, another place that I might be able to do a 50 pound challenge in the same kind of style as this, I'd love to hear it down in the comments down below. But 50 pounds isn't much to start the game of golf, but I think we can do it. And if we can, it goes to show that you don't need a load of money to start this wonderful game. You know inflation is hitting hard when the Sports Direct Slassinger V300 driver is now $24.99 in graphite. I did this video, £100 in Sports Direct two years ago, and it was about £17, something like that. And as you can see here, the steel version is actually $21.99, and I have no idea why they're still producing steel drivers. Realistically, in this day and age, you should just be able to make a cheap, cost-effective graphite one, as graphite's light, and we want clubhead speed, especially as a beginner, you want graphite, realistically. So driver was straight out of the question for this challenge so i have to think of another wood whether it's going to be rescue hybrid probably not going to be steel probably still going to go down that graphite option even though they are more expensive but it's an interesting little thought process and i'd love to hear your guys thoughts would you choose the same clubs as i'm going to be choosing as well because when you've got 50 pounds as a budget and you're trying to cover all four categories you really have to think of multiple options like the rescue would be good because you could do bump and runs with it but also it'd be good off the tee obviously it's going to be good out of the fairway but then are you losing distance because you're not necessarily going for that three wood or five wood or potentially seven wood option we looked at a few different irons as well and sadly the seven iron that i was going to use was a graphite one and a bit more expensive as you can see therefore i went for a steel option of an iron not too sure what loft i was going for at the time with the putter being an obvious choice as well i quickly selected my three clubs i had a five left over as well trying to think why am i actually going to spend this five pounds on obviously i wanted to get as close as i possibly could to the 50 pound goal and sadly everything was five pound fifty six pounds so i looked at a few t options as well because again we're looking to start the game of golf we need tees it's pretty much inevitable that you need to tee the ball up on certain holes and it did make me laugh that they were selling these three inch and a quarter wooden tees as that's essentially only good for long drivers and that's about it two on one eight tees and we were set 49 pounds 47 pence ready to hit the golf course hour and a half later we are back at Sanford Springs Golf Club where we started and I missed one very small detail we've got clubs we've got tees so that we've reached that 50 pound total as close as we could we haven't got a golf ball luckily because I've lost thousands of golf balls around Sanford Springs throughout my duration of working here and playing here I know exactly where to look and find some so two minutes of searching in the rough over here on the par three Pretty sure we'll be able to find something. First ball found, a minute and six, the camera is saying. Let's have a look for another minute, see if we can get another bad boy. Oh, absolute result. I think that's literally just come out as well, the tour response, tailor made. A bit chewed up, but we're minute 32 in. Can we get, oh, I've literally just found another one as well. Thankfully, societies play here a lot. <laughs> Golf breaks, etc. And I know the places. I wonder if we do a video 24 hours looking at golf balls around this golf course, how many golf balls we'd actually find. So yeah, I think that's enough. I don't think I'm going to lose that in the challenge, but there we go. There's our starting three golf balls. Let's go and start with the first golf club. Now, of course, when it comes to ticking off the putting challenge, there is only one club that we can go for, the putter. But I'd be very interested when we look at the iron and the wood, would you choose the same as me? Now we look at the prices. Now we know roughly you can get three Three clubs would you pick the same irons and wood as myself in the next two it's not the best putter in the world why would it be we can all agree when we start this game putting is probably the easiest to pick up and the more you play it is the hardest to master very rarely do we spend 
money or time or lessons on the short game area and for you veterans that have been playing this game for a very long time you know exactly how important the putting is and if you want to get into those low 70s you've got to put the time and effort in my next pick which of course was also 50% off 14.99 was in fact the eight iron because i was thinking let's go seven iron let's go down the middle of the road but they had a graphite one there and it's more expensive which realistically how much more expensive these things must only cost what 250 three pounds at the most to make so realistically a graphite shafted one shouldn't be that much more expensive so i didn't want to bring myself to get a graphite seven iron and spend that much more money but now i think about it i'd love to hear your guys thoughts i think eight iron is kind of perfect potentially even nine iron really because this is now going to tick off our chipping and our iron play bucket list there's a lot of you i would have started the game just like myself by 14 clubs right out of the gate and let's be honest you could hit a seven iron six iron eight iron nine iron all the same distance <laughs> because we haven't got the strike we haven't got the consistency we haven't got the club head speed whatever it is so one of my best tips and potentially drills you guys should do take out half the set of clubs that you have Take out half your irons, take out your woods, take out some of your wedges and go and play with five, six clubs and you will be shocked and surprised how creative you actually get at this game and how well you actually score with half the less clubs in your bag. I've said this before and I will say it again, the Slassinger irons that they sell in Sports Direct are pretty solid. I mean, the irons themselves, the wedges themselves, especially for you beginners, and the fact that you can just walk into a store, pick up whatever loft, whatever head you want, add to it as the weeks go on. You just want to go and grab one to hit balls at the range, and then potentially you want to go pitch and putt, so you want to get a wedge and maybe a five arm, whatever it might be. And because they're so cheap all the time, it doesn't really matter if they're going to last. I feel like iron play and putting are very much ticked off for the price and what you're getting. Yes, this is achievable to start the game the chipping element, the bit that you have to get a bit creative with. And to be fair, for a beginner, it might be worth spending another 14 pounds on a wedge. But I can't believe how well I've just played that off. That's gone to like two foot, have a look. And apart from that being just raw luck, that's just imagination. And again, I go back to that game, guys. Highly recommend one evening, late evening, just take six clubs out with you and go and play your local golf course. Okay, first hit with the big dog. I'd love to know if you guys agree. I'm just gonna take the wrap off, give it a smack, and see if you guys agree with the loft and club choice that I picked as my wood category. That was Healy and slipped massively in the hand. It's gone some though. But the reason I've gone with the five at 18 degree, loft helps. The driver, to be fair, was a bit expensive. 24.99 for that driver. Again, it serves a purpose, but I think you're just gonna outgrow it too quickly. You spend 24 quid on that. I think after two, three weeks, you're gonna wanna go and get a decent driver because the performance of a 50 pound one second hand G20 or TaylorMade RBZ, Callaway, old school Big Bertha, whatever you name it, it's just gonna outweigh that thing. So I feel like you're just gonna outgrow it because you feel like you're missing out. Just like all of us are golfers do when it comes to technology that is the biggest top slash thin of my life but because it's so high spinning and whippy somehow that thing has stayed airborne of and again that's why i opt if you had a choice as a beginner driver five wood go five wood because five wood has many uses you could easily get driver as a beginner and top it 50 yards and then have to require something else you can't hit drive off deck whereas if you top your five wood 50 yards potentially almost like i did there at least you can get the five wood back out now again if you've got a full set you don't have to worry about these things but this is how my mind works when it comes to certain amount of clubs in your bag how many different shots does that club give you and if it's only one you've really got a question should it be in the bag that right there is disgusting and filthy were we able to spend 50 pounds yes were we able to tick the four boxes of chipping putting irons and woods yes did we play some outrageously lucky and disgusting golf whilst in the midst of it? Yes. If you like this video, please leave it a like. Subscribe if you're new. Potentially you might like the video up here on the right hand side. See you guys then.